good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone. Race five on the program is the www.galloptv.co.za FM 74 handicap, fillies and mares. Field and more, field and nightmare, maybe. It's that tough. It's a 72 average rating over 1,400 meters. And I say that it is tough. It is tough because like the previous race, you can make a case for quite a few horses. But again, it's about taking a stance and it's, you can't take a pick six with six fields. So Sheldon, one of my horses to keep an eye out for, at least a suggested place accumulator banker, is this horse Nine Winters Destiny, the filly. I like the way she ran on powerfully last time to finish second to gin and tonic. Her overall form is solid. I think she does present as a possible place accumulator banker. She's seven to one. Um, but in saying that, I like Girl of Tragunta. Uh, when I was structuring the shortlist, I thought, well, do I make Girl of Tragunta a place accumulator banker or Winter's Destiny? One or the other, in my opinion. Um, I, I like them both. Um, but I think that Girl of Tragunta has got more scope. I think she's an exciting filly. She was nominated for what she was due to run in a feature the other day. She didn't run um, eight and nine or nine and eight, whichever way you want to look at it. Those are my two numbers. Well, number eight, Girl of Tragunta. If you look at that first run to Canadian Summer, and we've seen what Canadian Summer's come out to do on the weekend. So excellent stuff coming out to win that graded race. A horse with a big reputation. Then last time the money came from 10 to 1 down 6 to 1 at one stage and beat Feeling Groovy who unfortunately didn't frank the form the other day but I think she'll be back to fight another day. 55 and a half straight out the maidens. So this is going to be her acid test to see exactly how good she is. But she's had the time to mature. She's had the 46 days to mature and progress so you could be on the right path here. Number 9, Winter's Destiny, a model of consistency. Last time was very stiff not to win. Came from the back of the field. I remember calling that race, weaved through to win it, and then it was reported cut into, hung in 250, cut into. So I think that probably just cost her the race. Big runner. And then number 10, flashy Katrina for me. Last time out, I tipped her each way. I liked a bit of her. Aisling went to the front, set the fractions. And with Malicella Kacheri aboard, a five-time winner, 55 kg, so there's not much weight between numbers 8 and 10. Those will be the, the top two, Winter's Destiny, and then a horse like number 5, Demigod, and throw in number 6, there she goes. If you look at the opposition she has taken on in the past, the ratings 94, and the handicaps 80s, 80s, a horse worth throwing in at longer odds. So all in all, race number 5, another race where we could debate it for an hour, but Warren likes number Number eight, Girl of Tragunta, and number nine, Winter's Destiny. I like a little bit of number ten, Flashy Katrina, each way, and throwing a horse like number six, there she goes. So that's a wrap for race number five over the 1400 meter trip. The betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore, is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need, to, uh, I need to get studying again to, to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's, uh, it's really, it's, uh, in my opinion, one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Yeah.